The man tagged as the country's biggest drug lord behind bars, Peter Seo, is fighting for his life while fellow inmate J.B. Sebastian linked by the Justice Department to Senator Leela de Lima was also seriously injured but stable in a prison riot early Wednesday morning at the new Bilibid prisons. The violence left another drug convict, Tony Seo, dead and the former police officer who allegedly sparked the riot, Clarence Dongle, also wounded. Acting Bureau of Corrections Director Rolando Asuncion told reporters initial information indicated that early Wednesday morning, inmate Edgar Cinco saw Peter Seo, Tony Seo, and a third Chinese convict, Vicente S.Y., sniffing shabu, methamphetamine hydrochloride, inside a cell at Boulding 14 of the NBP. Cinco reportedly alerted Dongle who then entered the cell and told them to stop. When the former police officer returned to the common area to watch TV, Asuncion said, Sumujad si Tony Cok Dongle, Tony Co attacked Dongle, sparking the riot. Asked about Sebastian's involvement, Asuncion said he happened to be present when the violence erupted. Asuncion said the two cos belong to the commando gang, which Sebastian heads while Sy, while a Beitang City Jail member, was also once a commando member. Nagagawan ko na naman yan. Sila ang nagigipit sa akin. Masyado na nila akong ginigipit. Inaapi. My brother is not the pig. My brother is not the pig. Ang kapatid ko ito ay si Bobby Damon. Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre described Peter Coe's condition as 50 to 50 while Sebastian suffered serious injuries but was stable. Dongle used to be a chief inspector with the Bacolod City Police and is serving a 120-year sentence for the 2003 abductions and murders of Pahanoko Ibaranga e Captain Eluterio Salaba and two maritime instructors. Two other Bacolod police officers were convicted with him while the cases against several more police and civilian suspects remain pending. Another inmate, Clarence Dongle, was also stabbed with an ice pick but chose to be treated outside of the hospital, according to the secretary. The incident started when an inmate named Edgar Cinco saw S.Y. and the two co's using Shabu inside a cell and told Dongle, who confronted the three. He went to the three and told them to stop what they were doing. He said they were already in a bad situation and it could get worse if authorities found out they were using Shabu inside the jail. Dongle then went into Sebastian's cell, where the brawl ensued at around 7.40 am. But as to who stabbed whom, the secretary said they still have to investigate. Ano naman ito? Peter Ko, Tony Ko and Vicente C were reportedly using Shabu inside the cell of Peter Ko. Inmate Edgar Cinco witnessed the three using drugs and reported them to Dongail. Clarence Dongail, isa rin po yung Bilibid 19, another inmate who is a police major. Dongail told them to stop and warned them of the consequences. So, sobra naman ang pagtingin nila sa atin. Are we napaka... Taka naman natin na maniniwala tayo sa mga ganyang istorya. Bilibid 14 is supposed to be the most guarded uh, facility now. Nandiyan yung mga sa. Tapos gagawa ng istorya ang ganyan? Na nagsasabu kaya nagkarayot? Tama na po. In your desperation. Tumulo. Para siraan niyo ako. Hindi niyo na iniisip. Kung ano na yung nagiging itsura nyo sa mata ng bayan at sa mundo. Kayo na po ang pinagtatawanan. Hindi po ako. Misente po ako. Tama na, nagkakamali na kayo. Iba-iba na yung mga version nyo. Iba-iba na yung mga istorya nyo. Kung ano-ano ang mga... Iniimpento nyo, katulad nung kahapon na na naman, ano naman, 300 million na yan. Tama na po. This is not right and not good for the government. We want J.B. Sebastian to live because we're relying on him to spill the beans on Secretary de Lima.
so we don't want him to die, we want him to live. Convicted drug dealers told a congressional investigation last week Sebastian allegedly led illegal drug operations from behind bars to fund then-Justice Secretary Leela de Lima's senatorial campaign. In an interview with ANC, Aguirre said they will take necessary precautions to give Sebastian additional security because he is more valuable to us alive than dead. Aguirre earlier this week said Sebastian was suddenly unwilling to testify about de Lima's ties to the Bilibid drug trade. Dongol, on the other hand, is one of three former cops who were convicted for a 2003 kidnap murder case in Bacolod City. Mr. President. Hey, hey, hey. Hey.